Hello, I'm Scott Deans, the Turf and Utility Product Line Aftermarket Manager for John Deere. Let's discuss some of the features and benefits that you'll get from a John Deere OEM mower blade that are used on our Z900 BM and R series mowers. First, we need to focus on the shape of the blade. Here you'll see a John Deere OEM blade on the bottom and a non-OEM blade on the top. I want to point out the flat mounting surface that you'll see with the John Deere blade versus the curvature of the non-OEM. We also look at the different angle and bend of the sail as well as the different length of the two blades. You'll also notice that you have a slight angle difference between the two different blades for the sail. All of this is important as those geometry features of our blades are tested to work well with the John Deere mower decks. This provides the right airflow under your deck to make sure that you are getting an excellent cut quality. We also want to talk a little bit about top stamping versus bottom stamping. John Deere actually takes additional step in our manufacturing process to flip the blade over and stamp it from the top. As you can see here, the shear line is on the top of the blade. This allows us to get a nice, flush, tight connection to the spindle, reducing that vibration and extending the life of those components. We want to really focus in on the flat mounting surface that you get with a John Deere OEM blade. As you can see, the, the mounting surface extends out well past both where the washer contacts the blade as well as the underside on the spindle. This gives us a nice flush connection to our spindle, reducing that vibration. It also allows us to create 360 degrees of contact between the washer and the mower blade. Some of the non-OEM mower blades actually have a more narrow mounting surface, which creates a gap between the washer and the mower blade. As you can see here, I'm able to slide this filler gauge between the washer and the mower on the non-OEM. However, when I try to do the same thing with the John Deere OEM, I can't quite get under there. What this really does is create stress risers in the blade, so all the pressure when you torque that bolt down is delivered directly to the two contact points that washer is making with the blade. When we put all the pressure on those two points, it actually bends out our tip tolerance. This provides a lower quality cut on a non-OEM blade than what you would expect out of a John Deere OEM blade. John Deere uses a proprietary heat treat process called Oz Tempering to harden their blades. Oz Tempering helps ensure that we have a level of carbon throughout our entire blade rather than a situation where you'll see the white in this picture representing less carbon in the blade throughout that material. Today we discussed how John Deere mower blades are designed, engineered, and manufactured to a specific geometric shape in order to create an optimal airflow under the deck, thus helping achieve the excellent cut quality we all expect. We also go through an extra step in our manufacturing process to top stamp the center hole, creating a tighter fit to the spindle, reducing vibration, and extending your equipment's life. John Deere uses only a high quality steel in our mower blades, retaining the carbon content in the steel, providing you with a long lasting quality mower blade each and every time. So what are you waiting for? Visit your local John Deere dealer today to pick up a set of John Deere mower blades or go to jdparts.deer.com to place an order to make sure that you are getting the most out of your John Deere Z900 BM and R series mowers.